Hi there. So uh, we'll just jump right into it. Um, we'll be discussing macronutrients today. It was a question relative to what is macros? How do I go about setting up my uh, diet? Diet. So firstly, macros, macronutrients, it's simply put uh, what makes up or constitutes for making up your general diet. So if you look at what you're eating throughout the day, uh, if it goes unchecked, Yes, you are consuming your macros, uh, that being broken up into you are com most probably consuming uh, carbs, most probably consuming protein, and most probably consuming fats. Uh, and your general calorie makeup is that of X, Y, and Z. But when we're referring it to actual tracking, uh, that being awareness of your macros, that looks at it, looks at it from a completely different perspective. Um, and we could simply put, define it as macros tracking. So if we're looking, for example, at um, tracking your macros, what are we going to be looking at? What are we going to be focusing on? And uh, how does that then uh, optimize the chances of achieving the goals? Is essentially, there are various studies that obviously prove the efficiency and effectiveness of uh, tracking the macros and obviously stating what is the amount of protein that is required, what is the amount of fats that are, are required, and then obviously what are the amount of uh, carbohydrates that are required. Uh, just as, as a side note, um, there are various diets that claim to be the, the best diet, etc. Um, and you can subscribe to any of those. However, from a personal, personal perspective, uh, that's obviously based within the science fraternity, uh, the best idea is to, one, first look at what your goal is, two, look at what your body does, has already done in terms of responding to certain foods and food types, and then three, give it a go. So, um, as I've mentioned, uh, macros, macronutrients, there are certain ways of going about, um, going about tracking and obviously setting it up. Let's contribute by adding certain uh, methods of uh, optimizing our diet in order to be more aware of what we put into our mouths in order to contribute towards our end goal. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is one, start measuring. So in order to be optimally aware of what we're putting into our bodies, we need to obviously measure. How do we measure? Literally taking a food scale and then um, you know, measuring out the amount of food that we are eating relevant to the goal, or for that matter, the diet that you are on. Two, uh, use a simple software that I personally use as well, Fat Secret. It is a free software. Uh, there are many others. I'm not advocating specifically for Fat Secret, but you can make use of Fat Secret. Uh, so once you have your food, um, you're going to measure it and try and be as close to the um to the to to the amount of food that you're supposed to eat uh relative to the amount of carbs in terms of grams as well as in terms of the calories and fat secret also assists in doing so giving you once once you're walking into a or for that matter planning to buy um uh, you know the the foods that are within your diet uh, it contributes towards planning what you should buy what you should stay away from etc um, then the second step that you would want to take is record everything. Literally have a journal and whatever you're, you're eating for that day, uh, you're going to be recording in terms of the calories that you're eating, in terms of the amounts that you are eating, etc. So that you have a clear journal as to reflect on at the end, um, say of the six weeks, ten weeks. Uh, you can reflect back and scientifically um, look at what that food and the amounts and um, everything that you've been re uh, been recording has done to your body. So if you've had a positive, uh, you know, a positive uh, response relative to that, then you know that this has been recorded. This is a working, um, it's a working diet relative to your own body. And obviously, going forward, you can either tweak it here and tweak it there. But uh, generally, you want to stick to exactly that which you have already recorded. Step three: break it down. You need to know that for whichever for whichever diet you're going on or for whichever goal you're going on, remember, we'll speak about uh, diets, etc. in a different post because obviously relative to your goal, there's going to be, it's going to start at calories, but it ends up breaking it down a bit further and it's going to be take a lot more 
speaking um, than just for this per, per se. So, like I said, step three, you're going to have to break it down. You need to know what is the total amount of calories that I want to ingest per day and also what is the ratio that I want to uh, break it down into. So if you're taking that 100% of your diet, your caloric diet, uh, are you going to take 40, and, and this is just a general, you know, um, generalized uh, diet breakdown or macro breakdowns, uh, you will look at 40% uh, protein, 40% carbohydrates and 20% fat. Uh, there's various other uh, ratios as well. For example, uh, 40, 50, 10, so 40% carbs, 50%, oh sorry, 40% protein, 50% carbs and 10% fat. Um, all in all, these various things that you should be doing, but um, est establish firstly, what is the amount of calories that you want to take in? Essentially, if you were trying to, to, to burn, uh, make sure that your calorie intake for the day is low and also the amount of calories burned per day is quite high. Essentially, you're going to be in a deficit and obviously uh, your body will naturally burn the, uh, burn the fat or break down fat uh, as an e energy source. Uh, if you are trying to build, essentially you want to have your calories high. Uh, relative to your body makeup, ectomorphic, mesomorphic, endomorphic. We'll speak about that in different posts. Um, as a general rule of thumb, you're going to you you're basically going to calculate as follows: um, one gram of protein is going to you know be broken down, or it con contains four grams of calories, or four calories rather. Uh, one gram of carbohydrates contains four calories, and one gram of fat contains nine calories. And just as an example, I'll give you uh, quickly a on a 2000 calorie diet, your macros or macronutrient breakup would be as follows. Um, you'd have then on a, that being on a 40%, 40%, uh, 20%. So if per day you would want, so your 800 calories divided by, or this is for protein and carbs, 800 calories divided by four calories per gram of carbs or protein would essentially um, make up 200 grams of protein and 200 grams of carbs per day that you should be eating. And then also for fat, 400 calories divided by 9 calories per gram of fat would give you 44 grams of fat that you should be uh, eating per day. And that could be obviously broken down into various, and I'll post uh, in future, which types of foods optimizes your, um, optimizes your diet as well, relevant to those uh, macros. Then start meal planning. So step four, start meal planning. Whatever number it is, that being your 40, 40, 20, or 40, 50, 10, in terms of the ratios, whatever it is, make sure that you are planning way in advance. So um, sit with your app, your Fat Secret app for that matter. Uh, plan which foods would be best for you in terms of um, getting the amount of grams of protein and carbs, as well as the amount of, of grams for fat. Um, relative to those ratios, relative to your ma macro breakdown, and then also plan which types of foods fit into that structure. And then lastly, make sure that whenever you then buy that food and prepare the food, make sure that you are um, measuring it correctly to get as close to your macros as possible. Um, and lastly, and I will try and uh, present a more uh, comprehensive breakdown of, of an example of, 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 a, of a diet relative to macros. Um, but lastly, whatever you do, make sure that you don't buy into the concept of as long as I'm sticking within my cal calorie breakdown, that being, say, for example, 2,000 calories, as long as I'm staying within that calorie breakdown, I'll be okay, I can eat my chocolates, I can eat my burgers, I can eat my whatever. And I'm not advocating against it relative to, for example, a cheat meal, a cheat meal year um, to keep the sanity and also staying completely away from all your simple sugars such as chocolates, etc. I'm not advocating against, uh, against that, you know, holistically. But what I am saying is that your awareness is going to drive your achieving of your goal. If you know, for, for that matter, that I'm allowed so many carbs that I should be eating for the day, and I'm allowed so many uh, proteins uh, that, I'm, that I should be eating for the day, and I'm allowed so much fat that I should be eating for the day, and I combine that, that is going to optimize my ability to achieve my goal. 
So I hope this helps. If you uh, want me to comment on anything more specific, uh, like I said, this is a very generalized post, so I will be breaking it down a bit further in the future. But if there is anything specific that you want me to comment on, please um, firstly subscribe, secondly comment and share as much as possible. Your love matters. Perfect.